Welcome to ATP Report. I'm Barry Nussbaum. We have a very special guest today, Will Johnson, joining us. Uh, Will, as you may know, is the founder of UniteAmericaFirst.com. Please check him out. And Will, thanks for joining us today. Hey, thanks for having me, sir. Absolutely. We've got a ton to cover, so let's jump right in. There's so much going on. Let's start with New York City. 700 arrests in the past week. It's a revolving door. They arrest them. They don't have to make bail. They release them, and then they arrest them again. Unfortunately, the New York Police Department is frustrated beyond belief because nobody they arrest stays in jail for more than a few minutes. What are your thoughts? You've got the police chief saying, we can't do this. The people we are arresting are immediately getting released and then we're picking them up over and over again. This is starting to spread to other cities. What do you think about this no bail policy? It kind of reminds me of when Obama was in office, you know, the whole catch and release um, on the border, what have you. But anyways, I think this is by design. I think the Democrats are absolutely happy with this. They want to make sure that the criminals remain on the street to cause as much havoc as possible. I mean, they don't want people to go back to work. They've already demonstrated that because they want the whole COVID thing to keep people from going back to work. Uh, they don't want President Trump to have the economy come back to get, you know, because we are in election year. And if election year means that the economy is doing better. That means President Trump is going to win easily in November. I think he's still going to win personally, but the Democrats, the left, they have to do everything they can right now to try to hinder President Trump from winning in November. So you see the no bail policy, the catch and release in, and we're talking about violent people. Yeah, well, yeah, exactly. But that see, the whole point is, is they have to keep the chaos in the street. I don't think they want, see, the whole thing is you catch a criminal, you should detain them, right? Until they get a hearing or what have you. But in this case, they need the chaos to continue. If the chaos starts to slow down, they're not gonna be able to push their narrative. And come November, and all, all this chaos leads back to November, to the 2020 election. They have to keep the chaos going so that way they can turn around and say, you know what, all of this is because of President Trump. If you want all this to stop, you have to elect Joe Biden or remove President Trump. That's the only way it's going to stop. So they have to continue to put the criminals back on the street to keep the chaos going. I mean, that's how I see it, and that's what we're all seeing. And you're absolutely right. It's starting to spread to other states and cities. Well, let's talk about a craziness that's spreading, starting in Minneapolis. Uh, this past week, the president of the Minneapolis City Council, this uh, gal, Lisa Bender, has announced that the Minneapolis City Council has gotten a veto-proof ordinance passed, which is going to eliminate the Minneapolis Police Department. When I say veto-proof, the mayor who doesn't support it is overridden no matter what he does. In fact, this week she said in an interview, if you call the police, because the question was, somebody's breaking into your home, and this was even on CNN, and you expect the police to come to save you, that's a sign of privilege. Is that as insane to you as it is to me? <laughs> you know what, we live in some very interesting times. Very interesting times. And you know, on top of that, I know exactly who you're talking about. On top of that, she does not want people to be gun owners to protect yourselves. That, that as well as a privilege, right? To be able to protect the most precious thing that you have. The one thing that we all need to protect is our lives. And they wanna make sure that you can't even protect that. This is insanity. It's almost like we're watching a TV show, but we're actually living this TV show. Like the criminals, these politicians doing all this criminal activity, and we're supposed to just go along with it because this is the new norm. It's insane. And well, we'll, people, you know, they, and people, some people, sorry, but some people ahead. really think that this is a positive thing. It's crazy. They are going to send you a social worker to counsel you about the fact that, well, you got shot or robbed or there was a rape or whatever. 
I mean, you know what? That's another thing. They, they're talking about removing police officers and defunding the police officers and even pretty much eliminating the police officers, like you said, and replacing that with social workers. Because, you know, a lot of times the, the police officers will show up to a domestic call where the wife and the husband's having a dispute and they're yelling and his clothes are out on his lawn and what have you. You know, I'm pretty sure people have seen it all the time. Police officers will show up to that, but now they want to send social workers. And another thing, if they do send police officers, they want to make sure that the police officer is not armed. Oh yeah, absolutely. Because God forbid he used his gun to defend himself or defend you or me. Right. Well, you're a treasure. Thanks for joining me today. Tell people how they can find you, would you please? Well, the best way to find me is just go to uniteamericafirst.com. You can find me on all, you can find all my social media connections right there on uniteamericafirst.com. And thank you for having me on with you, sir. Great to have you. And for those ATP viewers that don't already have a subscription, take out your cell phone, please. Type the word truth in the message box, T-R-U-T-H, and send it to 88202. Push send. You'll be signed up for our free text messaging service. You'll get all of our shows for free because we never charge. For ATP Report, I'm Barry Newsbaum.